everybody. Welcome to my variety show. <clears throat> we are here weekly from one to three. And we do make your life uh, more or less miserable. Really depends on you. Well, but we're reacting to music here, so it's definitely something positive to look forward, right? Hello, everybody. My name is Katrinka. I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach. And welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi. Welcome in. Today I decided to react to something a little bit more atypical and uh, it's gonna be a straight kids God's do 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 and it's gonna be like uh, their studio recording which I always found super interesting to watch singers in the studio. I would like to do more of these. I found Ariana Grande's recordings from the studio and, and yada yada and I think it's just incredibly amazing to watch singers at work like really do their magic in the studio and i haven't reacted to stray kids uh before but uh, i do plan on making some reaction to uh, their live performance so if you do have some recommendation for stray kids live performance let me know down in the comments because i'm really in the search for the goodness and if you are interested in everything music and singing related this is the right place for you so please don't forget to subscribe also if you want to hear me singing i created my second music channel which is called katrinka music and the link to that channel and all of my social media are gonna be down in the description and now without any further ado let's go and watch stray kids do their thing in the studio oh my god okay this looks like a security camera a little bit um it does have that vibe i feel like they don't know that we're watching <laughs> 두르르 두르르 뱉었네 고개를 뚝뚝뚝 꺾어대 순한 양의 탈에 벗겨낸 눈이 뒤집힌 듯해 I'm a sucker for pain 처음부터 너무 높게 잡았나? Oh my god! I will have to look into their names just to make sure that I know who is who but this is when you make your voice really sound like a Tommy gun, right? It was very, very well supported it was fast I love how he went through the rrrr because it's just such a great consonant to work with when you want to make sound something super punchy. Let's hear it again. Okay. Just also focus on how big of a breath in he did because this kind of a really punchy, really strong um rapping slash singing needs a lot of stamina and needs a little a lot of very good support and a big very deep and very substantial breath is gonna help you a lot so just check okay very intimidating at the same time. Can't take your pen with the giant and no thanks. Oh, that shot to the go get back. She might have joy at your bone there. Yeah, pull up the tree, go bang on the wheel, look on your girl, match go jab a pong. Pure jungle motion, you're good and I go to go do it. So get good, you're your success. The first one definitely had a little bit of a fry in his voice as well. That was way more tension. The second rapper, a little bit less of a tension. He was using a little bit more quality his speech voice quality that's why his voice also sounded way more warmer than uh, the first singer <laughs> also a huge difference first uh rapper made a huge big breath in at the very beginning and just went on that one breath the whole phrase this singer or this rapper did have multiple breath ins within uh, the phrase so uh, yeah he's definitely wasting a little bit more air within the phrase than the first singer I mean that's really just a preference that's that's no good or wrong way to go about it but that's definitely an interesting detail to point out okay that was rappers now we're gonna uh have a little look at the singers let's go <laughs> He has a tiny bit of a nasal quality, but I like his voice. He was not too tense. He was opening phrases pretty okay. But what I really like was that handwork. Like, look at that. A lot of singers do use tons 
of their hands, right? And a lot of people think it's just the kind of the the interesting posture. It's kind of just the de act as something like an accompaniment to be interesting to look at. But honestly, there's a huge psychology behind using the hands it is very very helpful to singers as a human beings we do rely a lot on visualization and um, audio is something that we do understand and we like but something that we can see do help us incredibly and a lot of singers do help themselves with a the hand so if they do have the progression to higher tone they like to go up with their hands and they kind of visualize the tone that they're creating the sound that they're creating with their hands and it helps incredibly one of the very cute exercises that you can also do at home is um kind of the reverse psychology with the hands so if you do have some kind of a mental block with a very high tones instead of going high high with your hand as you're going high with your voice you kind of descend with your hand so you kind of trick your mind into easing easing into those high tones because hey the hand is going down right reverse psychology at its finest baby <laughs> oh, he has such a different tone quality than the rest of them. Definitely standing out. Oh yeah, for the punchy uh, kind of shouting of some kind of a phrase within the song, a lot of singers do it on their live performances. It's something that hypes really people up, right? Hey, ho! Oh. You know what I mean? It's quite different from uh, the way you control your voice within uh, standard singing. It's way more based on the breath. So sometimes, especially during a recording where you can't, um, you know, you can do it, you can pre-train it before you really hit that record. It's good to kind of tune your brain into that really punchy tone that's going to come out of you and kind of prep the breath as well because you have to flex your diaphragm into that boom that you're about to deliver. I like this. Stray kids everywhere all around the world. It's catchy. I have to go and listen to um, the song because it sounds incredibly catchy. All right, we have another singer. He looks so cute. Look, he looks incredibly young. Okay, I'm excited. What? No, that's not him. No way. That's... Oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 you're not gonna treat me like that. Are you serious? Oh! No, 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 no way, no way, like he looks incredibly young, he looks like when he's gonna start singing, it's gonna be very bright, again, as a people, we do get influenced by visual the most, right, and his visual with his voice was absolutely not correlating, Oh, his voice is super cool, oh my god, I'm so excited because I'm so happy that this kind of voice also found its place in um, in this type of music. I don't think I've ever heard such a low set voice in the 
boy band in a Korean boy band so if 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 there is let me know down in the comments because I'm a big fan I think it's super super cool I like that they really utilize his voice fantastically in the phrase and also is not just his voice like he is doing great with what he has so he's aware that his voice is lower uh, Lower said that he knows that it's gonna be very specific without uh, within the song, and uh, I love that he used a lot of fry as well because on that low set voice, the fry it sounds amazing. So he's not just singing uh, with a nice tone quality that he has, like that atypical super low uh, tone quality, but he is also, first of all, singing very well. And second of all, he is utilizing its beauty. And um, he is also using a lot of fry, which is really adding to the, the harsh feeling of uh, that phrase. I dig him a lot. Okay, I need to hear it once more. One more time. I need to hear it one more time. Come on. Oh. The, I did not expect to get this surprised had you heard this video. But I see why all of you guys wanted me to react to this because, my god, they are versatile and they are so freaking different. Like, the whole group is very unique. I'm really enjoying them. I need to react to them a little bit more. All around the world! Alright, Count Me In, I will be a fan. I will be a fan. First of all, um, this is live recordings. Uh, this is something that is not tampered with. It's not, you know, there's no post-production yet. It's really also just a very basic recording. It's not on any kind of a fancy technique. Very well done. I'm so super impressed with them. They've been doing a lot of stuff that do not need a heavy post-production, which is amazing because we are trying to get as close with the quality as possible to studio recordings. Now, I'm not a purist in this sphere, so if a singer is uncomfortable with singing something that they sing on the studio or it's not exactly the same, I am not gonna be critical about them. It's, it's fine, but um, it's always super impressive to really see uh, people in a studio and it's like almost spot on it's almost almost there and that's what they did it was really really amazing please let me know some of their like live performances live performances um where they are singing live maybe i would even prefer when they're gonna be dancing a little less so somewhere so some just you know some performance where uh they are really focused on the vocals because i would love to hear that and i would love to react to that and i might be just officially very obsessed with them because they are incredibly unique in my opinion they are something very different from what i've seen from this scene so i'm excited about them if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here and here's the video that the youtube algorithm actually recommended for you and here is of my Korean reactions so please stay safe and healthy I'll see you next time bye bye